Hi, everyone, and welcome to our Gold Midwifery Online Conference for 2016. I'm Fiona Langsharp, IBCLC, and Public Relations Manager and MC for Gold. Please welcome Sheena Byron. We're going to be chatting with her just in a moment here. And she is our keynote presenter. She's going to be speaking on kindness, compassion, and respect in maternity care, turning silence into a roar. Welcome, Sheena. It's lovely to sit down with you here today. Oh, thank you very much. It's lovely to be here. So I just have a few questions for you, Sheena, and I'm going to talk, start right at the top and ask you, tell us a little bit about what inspired you to become a midwife. Well, there's a couple of things, actually, um, Fiona. The first thing is my aunt, uh, my mum's sister, was a midwife and her friend. And they, she, they used to tell me little stories when I was a young girl about their work. Um, not too much detail, but um, I, always, I was always interested in what they had to say. And they got me thinking then, I think, it was sort of subconscious um, about the work of a midwife. But the main thing really was when I, um, I went to be a nurse first, so I was training to be a state registered nurse in England. And during that time, um, we had to choose a speciality. So we had to decide whether we were going to um, work with older people or people with mental health problems or go into maternity services and that's what I did and during that time that I worked uh, in maternity services I, um, I I met a beautiful midwife who helped me to really realize that that's what I wanted to do so there was a little experience that happened during that time that kind of clinched it for me so as soon as I finished training to be a nurse I went off to be a midwife well, that sounds fantastic. And hearing that it, it came from the grassroots of your home and you were inspired not only from that place, but yet when you went into the field of medicine, you were really drawn to the aspects of midwife, so midwifery. So it's really exciting to hear that. And I hope one day you'll share that story with us. Now you've intrigued me. But uh, for now, I want to move on and ask you a little bit about the roar behind the silence. So can you share with our audience when you first realized that there was a need for this important work? Yes, I know exactly when it happened because um, I worked very closely with Sue Down, the uh, co-editor of the book. And um, she, she and I used to spend time together, well, we still do spend time together chatting about the state of maternity care. And we're both very passionate about it. And um, we, one day we were sat in my garden and we were talking about uh, things that were happening around the world, things, things that we'd heard about. But we were also talking about the fear that exists within maternity care. So the fear that uh, women feel that are having babies and it seems to be increasing. And the fear that health professionals who work in the field of maternity care, how they feel afraid for so many different reasons and how that seemed to be increasing too and how the two things together were really influencing the way maternity services were being delivered and received. We also, um, we, we also rejo were rejoicing in some of the, the wonderful stories that we hear from around the world. So things, uh, stories about where maternity care is going right or where women are particularly pleased about the way they've been treated and, and their, their feeling after they've had a baby. So. We wanted to put the two things together and we started to jot things down on a piece of paper. And we came up with so many ideas. And as soon as, that, as soon as we left the garden that day, we started work on our idea. And actually, it just flourished from there because once we started inviting individuals to write short chapters, then, um, then they gave us examples of other things that were going on in the world. So we could have gone on and on, actually. We could, have had a, we could have had three volumes of the book. There were so many stories in the end. But just to say at this stage, we wanted the book to be um, a, a resource for everyone to be able to use, whether you're a woman having a baby, a father, uh, a partner, um, or, or whoever, uh, or a maternity care professional working in the field. Um, we wanted it to be for everyone. And we also wanted it to be accessible, so we didn't want it to be too expensive. So that's why um, it is like it is, and that's why the book is, is presented in this format, so that it's easily readable and, um, and it's also accessible for all. So yeah, that was how, that's, that was how it started. 
Well, what a beautiful story. I, I'm imagining you actually in your little English garden. I don't know if you were in England at the time, but um, it certainly uh, it, it is, a, it is a lovely story because I can imagine how from that point, like you said, it just exploded and there is Obviously, there's so many people around the world that are passionate about this topic. Um, and I know that there is a lot of this uh, fear amongst our mothers today. And I know that you, you speak to that in the book. And, um, and what I've seen so far is there's so many tools. I, I would like to ask you, lastly, what would you like our listening audience here at Goal to take away from your presentation, Sheena? I'd like, um, I'd like delegates to feel that they can make a difference and that they're not insignificant and that things aren't too overwhelming for them to make a difference um, to women and their partners and their families when they're caring for, um, for, for, for families, having babies. And I'd also like it to, um, if, 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 if you're listening to, the, to my talk and you're actually a mum or an expectant mum, I'd like you to feel that you aren't as afraid. So for both, for both women and families using maternity services or those providing them, I'd like, you, if you're listening to me, I'd like you to feel empowered and, and, and feel more confident um, to take ideas forward or to feel confident about yourself in your ability to have a baby. So hopefully there will be some, it will spark some kind of a, a flame to, for you to feel changed and feel that you can truly um, go forward with an idea, whether it's a small idea just in how you speak or how you act, to actually lobbying for big political change. So um, that's, what I, that's what I'd really like. That's what I hope. Well, I'm truly looking forward to hearing more, and I know we could talk for much longer today about this wonderful topic, but for now, we do need to wrap things up, and I'm looking forward to, again, hearing your full presentation at our Gold Midwifery Online Conference for 2016. So, Sheena, I would just like to thank you for sitting down with me here today, and to all of our listening audience, thanks again for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you at the conference. Bye-bye for now.